servers just set bye bye, where are they? Also, people are looking for alternative power sources as fuel tanks keep rising. Also, a new mechanic that makes you feel bad for killing scabs. All of this and more in today's Tarkov News. Hello and welcome to Tarkov News with me. Ha oh, that's right. I can't be Hans anymore. I need a new name. Let's see. Uh... Oh, I like this one. Igor Schnitzel. Welcome to Tarkov News. With me, Igor Schnitzel. <laughs> First news of today. Last week, Tarkov had huge server problems. The game constantly crashed, kicked you out, or didn't even let you log in. If you were lucky, you weren't in raid <laughs> at that time. Otherwise, yeah, you lost quite a lot of stuff. And of course, according to social media posts, everybody had 10 graphic cards, red key card, a horn of a unicorn and Scarlett Johansson in his backpack when this happened. At the beginning it was pretty heavy so you couldn't even log in, but later you could play but you constantly had spikes or lost connection. Desync was horrible. So it wasn't really fun to play. But Tarkov wasn't the only game, Apex Legends for example was completely down for many people as well. Also other games I usually play were down. So maybe it was something in the infrastructure or one of the many server farms was just not able to hand the huge amount of players wanting to play some games. Uh, the only statement I could find from BSG was this one, where they say that it's not in their realm. Now. We don't really know what happened because the PSG didn't give any information after that aside from Hey, it works again! So we don't really know anything. But people are getting pretty pissed about the bad server performance lately. I personally love this comment here. Uh, did EA buy Battlestate? <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know why, I don't know why, but, but I love it. <laughs> When you charge $100 for a game, and yes, you need the bigger pouch and stash, then a lot of people expect a bit more. And 3 years in a beta? A lot of times it's just used to say, uh, it's in a beta. Uh. So f off. But as far as I've read, they're working on a better client and server performance and stability, so uh, we'll see. Only time will tell. Then fuel prices, um, I don't know what happened, <laughs> they were normal, then they were insane, then normal, now insane again, and always out of stock. I don't know what their plan is, maybe they just want you to look for alternative green power sources. What's this? Oh, sorry Randy, looks like you got a ticket. A ticket? Failure to care about the environment. Oh, God damn it. I would imagine shooting bullets and grenades isn't really considered green either, so uh, yeah. I have no clue what their goal is, they also don't share any information on the matter, so yeah, I have no clue. I talked last week why I think this is a bad thing, and this time I have math to support me. Let's look at the graph, okay? Now this shows that if you would spend the income of your bitcoins only on new graphic cards how much days it would take you to completely fill the entire bitcoin farm of graphic cards okay i mean of course if you want only want 25 graphic cards and then you're fine and whatever it just stop there now the orange line shows how it was before and the blue line how it is now <laughs> with the fuel tanks costing half a million and more now what's the problem since the upper curve is the same, if you've played a bit since the wipe and let's say you got 25 graphic cards working, you don't care, the curve is the same. The benefit or the profit from the bitcoins compensate for the high fuel prices. But let's say you have your bitcoin farm just ready now. You lose 50 days. You lose 50 days. And that's just... No. So, I made some research and it seems that BSG wants to counter the insane amount of money you get from bitcoins. Um, but for f sake. Why don't you then just limit the value of bitcoins? 
I don't get it. Just make bitcoins 200,000. Problem solved. Why, why, why fuel tanks? It also affects crafting and everything, which is like a key element of the game. And it's just... My brain hurts. It hurts. Why? Okay, last news. Let's talk about Scaf Karma. That's a concept they're actually working on right now. And from what I gather, the idea is that if you complete a scaf run without killing a scaf, your karma increases. If you kill a scaf, it decreases. To the point that other scafs are now hostile to you even though you are yourself a scaf. So you are a rogue scaf now. Anyways, um, be honest with me guys. Who doesn't go to the first scaf and is like, Hmm, I really like your gun. But on the other side, maybe this allows us to form a scaf army and rush those nasty PMCs. I mean, let me... Second. Who was that again? Ivan Schnitzel lead the rebellion to free Tarkov from those pesky invaders so that we scaffs can be free again. Ooh, I like your gun. Last quick news of today, Hans made a video about Hitman and nobody seems to give a shit. I was told it's pretty funny, so go check it out. And that's it for this episode of Tarkov News. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash like. I know it has been a bit more serious than what I want it to be. Next episodes are gonna be a mo bit more lighthearted again. Till then, I'm Ivan Schnitzel. Out.